I was busy yesterday. Not busy enough, though. fishy folks yesterday I spent a couple hours down here some of the time just looking at tanks and you know messing around but actually working for some of the time you can see here I've think I've come up with the design for redoing the water lines on the rack that's over there you can see if you look up top the disaster that's water lines and air lines and leftover plumbing uh, from the original system but uh, I've been talking about redoing that for a while now and before I jump right in I wanted to sort of uh, test it over here on the small side so these two big tanks this is the 75 that's the 90 um, I got them both at local fish club auctions the 75 I think I paid 25 bucks and the 90 I don't think I paid that. I probably, I think I paid only maybe 20. I don't remember. Um, yeah. Anyway, maybe I got the 90 from Colin. I think I got the 90 from Colin. I forget what I paid for it, but it was way less than a dollar per gallon. It was less than 50 cents per gallon, probably. Anywho, let's talk about the water lines and the air lines. So what I've decided I want to do is make the water lines the blue tubing, just so it's easier to see and make the airlines obviously a clear tubing. Um, the other reason for the blue water lines is hopefully it'll, it'll uh, cut down on any uh, mold that builds up in there. If you look at some of my other water lines that have been up for, for ye a year or more, actually probably a month or more, you can see there's some, uh, there's some muck inside that kind of clogs it up sometimes. So what I've done was I've, uh, I bought these little wire looms uh, to see how they are you could probably fit right now. There's six Lines going through them You could probably fit at least two more easily Maybe three maybe four more if you shove them in there The other thing you do is if you back this screw off, it'll make this part bigger So I'll try to put a link in the description below for what I bought um, I bought them at Home Depot, but you know you can buy them on Amazon or wherever I'm sure so I'll put a link for that in the description below. And uh, then what I did was I simply, I added some hard uh, tubing to the end of it to kind of weigh it down. And yeah, it's in the water. It probably shouldn't be because there is a possibility of backflow, although I've never had it with this system. Um, but I guess it is a possibility. So um, I may eventually try to keep it up out of the water. I don't know if you can see, you know, like this somehow, but without lids, that's kind of difficult. So I'll figure something out. I could probably clip it to the bar or something, but anyway. Uh, and then we have just the vacuum line. That, that, uh, there's probably no bacteria in that filter. It was simply to uh, just make sure the water didn't get stagnant, you know, just so there was some movement. Same thing down below, there's just a ginormous air stone in there. Um, so what I've done is I've I've put this out of the way so uh, so I don't you know as I was going to service these tanks in the back or service the sump pump I would knock these water lines out of the the tanks and if I didn't put them back obviously the water would be all over the floor the next morning when the auto water change system started so I have one here just to keep this tank neat and I have one up there to keep the other tank neat and I'm gonna kind of mess around and see how I like it and then redo when I drill these two tanks which that was the plan to do today but I don't know if that's gonna happen I'll uh, start to organize that to make it a little bit neater uh, what I like to do let me come around the front and show you what I like to do with the water lines on the middle tanks is sort of hang them I don't know if you can see this one is just going over the light in the space underneath the tanks um, and that sort of hangs them so you know it's not right in the water and uh, I can kind of you know uh, uh, aim the water where I want it obviously with my type system if I put in 10 gallons of water it's not really a 10 gallon water change because it's an overflow system so as I'm adding water um, basically the water is getting mixed and then what is that 
sorry sorry so this is these are plecos that i'm um the l144s that i am quarantining for a customer uh and there is some sort of guppy possibly i don't even know where that would come from unless it came from the store when i bought it because let's see there's one pregnant female in here bruce is in here these are l144s there's no way that these glass bellies are jumping you know what is that 10 inches into here so it must have it, the only thing i think of is this fish that appears to be some possibly a guppy came either came from the store where i bought it and i don't remember what was in the tank with these guys or no because that that wood my thought was maybe it's from that wood when i moved the wood you know he was he got sucked up into that but no because that wood was in the apisto tank and those apistos wouldn't let that little little fry survive that would be a delicious treat anyway there's 10 of these l144s i'm shipping to colorado um and <laughs> there's one in the tube I don't know if you can see that in the tube there's a tail right there so that's kind of funny um all these guys are hanging out on the filter all that poop is from them from yesterday like 12 hours maybe 14 hours of fish lots of poop so that's good um water lines yeah so that's the plan for the fish room um it really didn't take much work it went much quicker than i thought i think it's a nice system i think it'll be neater and then what i'll do is you know i'll try to bundle those together maybe to make them a little neater i did that here with these two you can see i used a wire tie to uh to tie them together and also hopefully that'll weigh it down a little bit more and we'll go from there um, doing the rack behind me is going to be much more of a challenge what I would like to do or be able to do is take everything down at once and rebuild it all in one day unfortunately as busy as I am that usually I don't usually have that much time so we'll see what happens uh, anything else in the fish room of interest oh I did bring the dustpan down here maybe I'll sweep maybe I won't um, yeah any sea show is coming up in a few short weeks again if you're going to the show plea and you want to buy some fish for me shoot me an email and uh, you know I can bring them to you special obviously uh, I think fish I'm selling at the show are going to be uh, these guys red and green cobras and uh, some mutt guppies and I may bring some smaller tanks and just bring a couple of those uh, red Moscow's and uh, I'll see what else I have um, in abundance to sell that's kind of interesting um, I've been really trying to push this mutt guppy tank because i think some of these guppies are really nice and i would imagine a lot of people at this show are just you know hobbyists not necessarily breeders so that would be good for them um i think that's about it guys in the fish room i don't know if you saw in the intro i'm wearing the original steam Fight aquatic shirt i thought i lost it bob sent me one when he first printed them and i thought i lost it and i felt really bad and then i was doing some laundry and i found a hamper um of clothes that was you know had to be at least six months old so anyway that's personal stuff what are you gonna do oh one of the lights just went out i guess it's time to leave uh just an update on the plecos all the plecos are doing well here are the calicos getting big there are the albino bristle nose getting big put another big piece of driftwood in there for them they're growing nice um Let's go check out Zlatan, the blue phantom pleco, and his two mates. If we can see them. Let's see, where are you? No. Maybe under here. Oh, oh, there's Zlatan. 
And there's another one back there. I don't know where the third one is. Probably stuck to the bottom of the filter, but the Blue Phantoms are doing well. Um, one of them is sold, and I should be shipping out that fish actually tomorrow. It's supposed to be in the uh, upper 50s and higher for three days, so I'm going to try to ship some fish. I did send a bunch of emails out, people. If you're watching this video and you bought fish for me and you haven't received them because of the weather and uh, you received an email and didn't respond, please respond. If you didn't receive an email and I just forgot, please respond. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Check out the new updated Michael's Fish Room website, michaelsfishroom.com. Daniel Anderson, the owner of Hypnotic Aquatics and Finbids, the uh, bidding website, has reworked the tank, the tank, has reworked the website for me and it looks fantastic take a look let me know what you think buy lots of fish any other questions shoot me an email any uh anything you want to know let me know and uh of course i have the gofundme for the veterans if you watch the video on friday which a lot of you didn't it's not doing as well as i thought it would uh take a look at that i'm just keeping it real in that video guys that's what it is that's what it's all about so hope you enjoy have a great day peace